Mr. Banks, could you answer a couple of questions for me? Can you recall the events that occurred last night on your shift? Why are you so interested in what happened in that room? Because I have a particular interest in your case. First day two, huh? How can you tell? Liam Oakley Brown, hyphenated. Jonathan Banks. Why the hyphenation? Daddy issues. <laughs> it's a long story. Fair enough. Good morning, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Green. If you would please follow me. Hey, how'd you get stuck in this shit job? Too much small talk. Ha ha. Ever heard of perturb pigeons? Yeah. Yeah, I invented it. But of course, some Ivy League conglomerate cheated me out of the patent rights, so here I am. The item inside this room is a highly classified level 5 priority. The highest classification in this facility. After you enter the room, the door will self-lock, and you will keep this room safe for the next 12 hours, understood? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. What do we have here? Well, in case we get sweaty guarding this giant trash can? Are you a cop? I was. How'd you, uh... You smell like one. No offense. So, why the early retirement? My daughter was killed in a hit-and-run accident. They never found who killed her, and I couldn't accept that. I became obsessed. Eventually, I was asked to leave the force. So, here I am. Sorry to hear that. What are you doing? What do you think's in there? It's not our job to think, it's our job to watch it. I bet it's an alien brain. An alien brain? I'm serious. My brother, he did a few contract jobs here. He saw some pretty weird shit. Oh! What the hell did you do? <laughs> I didn't do anything! Oh! This is not good! Ago. How could she have been in that room with you? That gas. Whatever was inside that thing, it made me see things. Believe things. What would make you say that? You told us we had to protect it. 
that there was something dangerous in there. You know that's not what I said. In fact, I didn't say anything. I just told you to keep the room secure. was in there, Doctor. Nothing, Mr. Banks. The gas you were exposed to was completely harmless and non-lethal. What you saw, what you thought you saw, was merely a projection of your own mind. No. No! You guys have to believe me! <laughs>